Okay, I'm a child. Every time I do one of these, I'm sweating. It's so hot. Ugh, from carrying all of that stuff inside. So, quick, healthy hus Hosco haul. Healthy Hosco. <laughs> healthy Costco haul. Um, chunky guacamoles. I love these. Eat them with my Siete chips. Put them on top of salad. Speaking of salad, got romaine lettuce for Caesar salads this week. I also got butter lettuce for chicken burgers this week because I have a lot of ground chicken in the freezer. Some red Argentinian shrimp from the ghetto Costco. Um, cucumbers to eat with ceviche, to eat with, oh, they're good with that guacamole. Cucumbers are surprisingly good with salsa too, if you just want like a really fresh snack. Little mini bell peppers for roasting, for salad, for all of the things. I got some of these Suja wellness shots. I typically would not get these, but they were $4 off this week. So I picked them up. I also ordered the wellness shots from Factor for next week. I placed an order next week. It won't be here this week, but I did some chili roasted pork chops from Factor and also wellness shots. And then I think I just got three or four meals this week. Not a lot. Um, Borson, the three pack was on sale for $5.99 for, is it two different flavors or three? It's two flavors. I got the Costco, I was gonna leave you on a cliffhanger. My battery just died. <laughs> um, Costco ceviche, which again, isn't the best ceviche ever, but it's easy. I don't like that the shrimp are whole. So what I've been doing is just going through with kitchen shears and snipping up all of the shrimp so that it's easier to grab it onto a little chip. And I feel like it lasts a little bit longer when you slice it up. Let me show you this before I forget it's here. I got one of these melons. Don't know what they're called. Something, something melon. I don't know. <laughs> but they're very crispy. But still sweet. But they stay crisp. It's a very interesting melon. It's very oblong. And, um, sorry, the sticker fell off. He had to go, like, look it up and everything. And then I got a thing of peaches. I think that is four pounds of peaches. I got some of the Miyoko's butter. I think it was $6.99 for this and $9.99 for the Kirkland grass-fed butter. But I really like Miyoko, so I got that. I got this at your guys' recommendation. I get the Primal Kitchen Mayo. You guys said the Caesar's good. I hope it's good. Please be good. Um, if not, you can take everything back to Costco. So I will try it. If it's not good, I'll take it back and have no regret about it because that's the perks of being a Costco member. <laughs> uh, bananas for eating. I already have some frozen for smoothies. I also got my favorite little Monsoon Kitchens butter chicken. Okay, so here's the thing. This isn't that good. Like, of Indian frozen or refrigerated options, it doesn't taste that good, but it's just very convenient. It's 440 calories for a tray. There's four trays between the two of these. They're actually getting rid of them, so this is the last time I'll be able to get them because they have the little asterisks next to them, at least at the Costco I was at today, which was not very close to my house, so I'll check the ones on my house. But they're just so simple. So I got them because they're like good enough, um, but they're not as flavorful as like the Trader Joe's Indian frozen stuff if you've had that that's good it's not a good not as good <laughs> um because that's going out of stock i also got the tikka masala from costco there's two pouches in there and then mini non-dippers how cute are these and it's five pieces is a serving which is 150 calories so have those with my Indian. I also got some raspberries, yum. And that's the first basket. Yes, I'm still using 
a basket to carry in my groceries and it's very 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 useful and then at the co-op i just got a couple of things this is redwood hill farm goat milk keeper in blueberry pomegranate acai looks like this they had another organic um cow's milk brand but i wanted to try that one and then i got this kombucha which i bought two spinach plants from the co the co-op as well but they're over there because while i was at costco the heat kind of like uh brutalized them so i have them in a little bit of water hoping that they perk back up but anyhow i got this cosmic kombucha this is a seasonal one and it's like watermelon lychee uh coconut water and what else blue spirulina and that sounded fantastic to me and then i got Ooh, I'm glad we got this in when we did because there's a hole in the bottom of that bag. A little loaf of rosemary sourdough for breakfast sandwiches, lunch sandwiches. I've really been into tuna melts lately. So yummy. And um, egg sandwiches with cream cheese and pickled jalapenos. <laughs> Those have been my two breakfast things. Oh, I just blew dirt all over my floor. Uh, I'm going to have to clean that up. And then I got two dozen of my Chertel Creek eggs. I almost got eggs from a lady on next door this week, which these are $5.99. Hers were $5. But since I was already going to the co-op, I didn't want to have to make two trips. So maybe I'll get eggs from her next week and see how they are. They're her backyard hens. And she, if she has an overproduction, she does them for $4 a dozen. And if it's like a regular week, she does them for $5 a dozen. And it's just like first come, first serve. But I, I saved her number um, so that I can get eggs from her too. But anyhow, I got two dozens of Chertel Creek eggs. That is my haul for now. There are a couple of like little things that I need. I need, I think some broccoli and or green beans because i didn't really buy a veggie as like a side this week i bought salad stuff but for dinner i have some tilapia i plan on doing for dinner this week but i didn't buy a side other than i have okra from my garden so i'll have that one night but i still need another side i'll check in the freezer and see what i have before i go to the store my boyfriend called with the request which were these i think these are limited edition so i went ahead and bought him two sometimes h-e-b releases stuff that they don't bring back he had these at his mom's house on the way back to dallas and dallas does not have an h-e-b so he asked me to go and get him a couple of bags so I did. I don't know that I would like dill and cheese together, but um, yeah, anyhow. But while I was there, <laughs> I saw these cookies, which look fantastic. Look at these monsters. You could eat like half of these. I figure these will last me the whole week as like my little after dinner treat, like half of these with a little cup of coffee. And then I also picked up this Lakewood Organic Pure Aloe for the little caffeine drinks I've been making. And the last thing is this Rayo's soup. It was chicken and gnocchi. And it was kind of near the register, so it was a little bit of an impulse buy. I've had some of their other flavors. I really like the, um, I think it's Italian wedding. Yeah, Italian wedding. So I picked this one up too. If you ever wondered what my fridge looks like, it's really hard to show you because the light does a weird thing to it. But I have like my little snack plates up here and dairy type stuff and salsas. I love chips and salsa up top. Then all of my drink and iced coffee stuff is in here. I have some stoke. Um, and then my prepared meals are here. Eggs are always in the middle with whatever breakfast meat. I did chop up that ceviche, so that's what it looks like once it's all chopped up. And then veggies are usually on the bottom here. I don't put them in the drawer because then I won't see them. In the bottom drawers, um, my cheese, because I always know if I want cheese. And there's a couple of like little, like my boyfriend loves bacon bits on stuff. My smoked salmon, my cheeses are down here. And then drinks are down here as well and like backups of my yogurts which I have my yogurts up here this is Nuva rings <laughs> butter and then uh, condiments so yeah that is my fridge what it looks like
The freezer is a little bit more messy. Uh, Trader Joe's turkey corn dogs, my extra like convenience meals in here. There's like some cauliflower stuff in the back, some rice in the back, and then proteins on the bottom, and then just smoothie stuff on the door. Pick these two things up at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna put all of these, not the cookies though, just this stuff, and obviously not that liquid, <laughs> into here. And I don't know if I'm gonna use one for day and one for night. I know that they have the ones that are like day, midday, night, but I just wanted something cheap. So I got this. We'll see if all of them fit in here or not. If they don't, I'll use like this row for day, this row for night. Um, otherwise, it'll just be two weeks worth. And there they are. Wow, look at the quality content you get on my channel. What other YouTuber is this exciting? So these are my day. This is all I have to take <laughs> left today. Uh, daytime, the ones that are in foil have to be taken on an empty stomach. Um, but my other probiotic you're supposed to take with food. So that's why it switches here. These are my nighttime ones, which include my multivitamin. I'm trying to take my multivitamin at night since I drink caffeine and caffeine blocks the absorption of certain vitamins. <laughs> so I'm taking my vitamins, my allergy pill, 5-HTP, fish oil, and my digestive en enzyme at night. And then in the morning, I'm taking another oil pill, um, one digestive enzyme, probiotic, my ADHD, oh my gosh, blend, and uh, wow, I can't believe that just happened. Well, what a fun time. <laughs> Good thing they all look different so I can tell what is what. This is ADHD. Well, I'm going to fix this now and put them on top of the water cooler. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Um, but all my pre-workout and stuff is over there because <laughs> it was piled up to the sky over here. So I'm going to find a different place for that now. I made one of those drinks I've been obsessed with. Those are my little uh, spinach plants that need to go outside. But um, this one is raspberry lemonade, pina colada, which I'm allergic to pineapple, but there's no actual pineapple in like the little drink mix and a little bit of sparkling water. But of course it's already mixed up because I put the straw in, but it's very good. Look how many more okra I've picked from my garden. It's pretty ridiculous and I need to eat them soon. Or I might give some to my mom. I haven't decided. I just took her a huge gallon bag of Shoshito pepper. pepper. So I might eat these tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. My sweet boyfriend spilled a whole container of this on my rug. <laughs> and I didn't pick it up for, like we tried to get as much of it up as possible, but it was still sticky. So I just put it into the washer to soak to get all of this off. And I'm gonna quick vacuum my floor up. <laughs> And these cookies I got from H-E-B, they are sensational chocolate chip and walnut. I ate half of one last night, um, like for a little dessert, and half was perfect. They are so, so thick. Let me grab one out. Look at this thick boy. It is so thick, and the middle is just like gooey and delicious. So I enjoyed having half of this last night, and it was like super sweet, super rich. So good. They also sell them in singles if you live in Texas and you just want to try one. But the price for three seemed better than like buying an individual or either, either buying two individual ones. So I just got three. So good. It's the morning, by the way. I'm just cleaning up. Like I said, I just did a quick vacuum. My rug is soaking and I'm going to wash that. But it is raining outside, so I cannot put it outside to dry. You guys remember last time I put my rug out there. It also rained all over my rug. <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna put it into the dryer on the air tumble setting. That worked fine last time. This rug is like indestructible. It's been through a lot and it's still rugged. So I'm doing that and I'm gonna do a Target pickup order for some toilet paper and stuff. It's just so rainy, I don't wanna go out. And um, the city of Austin announced that there are 16 ICU beds for our 2.3 million people left due to the COVID Delta variant. So I'm trying not to be out and about unnecessarily, so I'm just gonna do a quick pickup order, clean up a little bit in here, fold. I actually need to, where is it? wash that blankie my couch blanket stays there for like months without being washed so i should probably wash that after my rug just a little inside cleaning day here's my fridge with queen nicole watching over me this is a polaroid of her oh my gosh i miss that dog so much anyhow before i cry like a bitch on here um, my new dietitian has me plan out my meals a day in advance. So only at night I plan for the next day. And again, not tracking calories. I am eating a lot more right now to try to raise my BMR and being more active with strength training, etc. So um, for breakfast, I'm having eggs with rice, fruitacake, and cucumber. I would do avocado, but I don't have any. I only have guacamole, and I don't want guacamole. And then for a snack, I'm going to have some macadamia nuts and some cheese and maybe some crackers. And then for lunch, I took that leftover ceviche that I had from Costco, and I made that lobster roll, like, shrimp salad that I had made in a What I Eat in a Day a while back, but without the pasta, just the shrimp part. And I'm going to put it on some uh, sourdough toast. And then for my second snack, I'm going to have a protein smoothie. Because I never eat enough protein. Which I am slowly learning that I'm very shitty at getting protein in. Um, for dinner, I'm having an Italian chopped salad. And I think I saw it on um, Lois Lane's Instagram, Lauren. Um, and then for my treat i'm having an ice cream cone a lot of you guys said you wanted to hear more about what i was doing for my bmr this is basically it eating a little bit more she said eat 20 percent more than i think i should because when i track my calories or write down what i'm eating she says i eat around like 16 to 18 1800 calories on my own so she wants me to eat about 20 percent more than i think i should and that should put me at the rate where i can start to restore my bmr after dieting my entire life so yeah that's what I'm doing I have some peloton strength workouts that I have planned for the rest of the week and I will show you some of them when I do them this is my breakfast two eggs with some rice and cucumbers and fruitacake in the Trader Joe's chili onion crunch <laughs> I was gonna say nothing but the onion seasoning which definitely means I need my coffee so I am gonna make a premier protein iced coffee this morning um, I have my ice in my train to cup and I'm gonna make that really quick I already popped the egg I was getting ready to start mixing my eggs and my rice together in the yolk and I have some more like chili onion crunch under there so very delicious um this is the protein shake I use. I'm obviously eating my breakfast. Um, I'm going to go sit down and eat now that my coffee's done. I'm just going to give it a little stir and throw with the lid on. I use four shots from my Nespresso machine. So I was driving past a dumpster and I found the skateboard so I stopped in the nearest parking lot to try to ride it. Don't yell at me about my shoes. And then I did a couple of walking at home workouts this week which are always a ton of fun. And of course I had to throw in some cheerleading moves. I got some of these uh, rosemary sourdough from Weedsville. I think I'm going to do three rounds and put them in the air fryer to toast them up because I do not own a toaster like a normal grown-up. And I've got my shrimp salad. Honey, you're being disruptive. Got my toast, got my shrimp salad. I think I'm just gonna put it on. There it is. Really serious, Huh? And there it is, my lunch, shrimp salad on toast. I also decided to have half of this Rayo soup. I do half because they're very thick and then I just add broth to the rest. Got some snozberries and I got some kefir. 
in my eat drink vegan glass which is probably pretty disrespectful to put dairy in an eat drink vegan glass but this is the kefir that i'm drinking right here i don't know if you can see it that little ball right there that's a melon i'm growing a melon off of my balcony there's actually two of them but that's the easiest one to see but yeah garden's doing good i do need to blow off my patio again but I'm gonna wait for the water to dry that I just got everywhere and then I'll blow it off with my little Hoover blower. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm a gardening queen. Look at the massive amount of okra I have grown in the last, like, I swear it's been like a week. It's so insane. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this soon. I think I'm just gonna saute it up actually. My mom would probably cut it up and fry it, but uh, it's too hot to be turned on oil, so <laughs> sauteed it is. I just combined a couple of my plants. There were, this one, it was just not doing very well. And then I had another one that really needed to go into a bigger pot, so I just combined the two. I didn't really like this plant. The place that I got it from, they're kind of shady, so <laughs> this plant is kind of shady as a result of that. But I just did some like clipping and pruning of it and hopefully it lives. I just did a good soak on it. I'm going to leave it in the sink overnight and then I'll hang it back up with the other two plants. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Strip it down I ran to Dollar Tree and they had all of these cute little pumpkins. Oh, hi. There's me in the pumpkin with my camera. They're glittery and fun and they were all a dollar and I thought I could use them year after year. And they also had some ceramic ones, which I thought were super cute. And I'm totally ready for pumpkin spice season already. I want my pumpkin spice in my life. So I picked those up and I also picked up this set of sheets at Costco. I saw that they were on sale and my body oil like ruined sheets and clearly I have a theme in my house. Everything's like blue and white. I'm loving this Cosmic Kombucha. It's my second bottle and I'm also loving the Clio Parfait Bars. I had some overnight oats that I made to eat after my workout on this day. And it just had protein, some chia, raspberries, and of course I had one of my Suja immunity shots and a Premier Protein coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there and love life.